Welcome to Edmonton, Alberta, the site of some of the greatest players in NHL history. The Oilers ready to roll here tonight on the ice. Well, we've been waiting for this one all day long, and here we go. The Oilers will look to go in the offensive as they win the opening draw. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Takes the puck at the point. Answers the call with a big save. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. Kopitar's depended upon greatly by his teammates. He's one of the stars of this team and needs to produce night in and night out. McDavid's known to blow past defenders with speed, which is his real zone ability. I'll be keeping tabs on these players all night long, and let's see if one of them can lead their team to victory. Guys, back to you. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. We're still in the early stages of this period. The game is still scoreless. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. The Oilers have it now. Moves it in front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Here's a short pass to McDavid. intangible to get available for a one-timer in that low slot area. You know it's going to be a grind. You're going to have to fight for your space. He does a great job of it and buries at home. Edmonton's come to play. Look at that. A quick goal here just minutes in. Well, it's all about getting the start that you want, James. And that doesn't always mean a goal. It means being heavy in on the floor check, establishing pressure, capitalizing on their opportunity. That's a bonus, and they do it early in the frame. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Here comes the official's call. Well, when you're down a goal, you can't generate any offense if you're short-handed. They're going to have to be opportunistic, find a way to kill it off, and then reset the momentum. The Oilers get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Wow, this power play that's coming out top ranks you what an arsenal they have in there. Wow, the ability to shoot the puck, pass the puck. They are such a threat from every area of the ice. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. And now it's grabbed by Perry. Trying to clear from the defensive zone. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Takes the feed. Fires it on net. good at keeping the play going with solid crisp passes that are easy for his teammates to receive guys he loves to set them up for success with his tape to tape zone ability play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone and too much traffic in front blocks that one los angeles gets a hold of the puck shorthanded puck cleared from the defensive end and he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit Pass to Hyman. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Byfield almost out of the box. Sends it in on the attack. The Oilers run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. You get the nod to go out there on the power play and make a difference. Big time save! Oh my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Can't keep a hold of it. Picked up along the boards by Nugent Hopkins. Gaining momentum up along the side. LA's got the puck. Pushes it across to Turcotte. Los Angeles plays the puck along the boards. And that's a smart heads up play by Skinner. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Well past the midway mark of this period. We've got a one nothing hockey game thus far. The Oilers win the draw here in their own end. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. You're trailing by one and you take a penalty, not the way to get back in the game.
The Oilers send their man advantage unit out once more. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Here's a clearing attempt from their own end. And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. the way they move the puck around to wait for the right time to be able to move that puck for the one-timer in that low slot area. He didn't have much time to get it off, but he got some wood on it and buried it. Edmonton's clearly had a few energy drinks prior to puck drop because they're already up by a pair here in the first. It's always great to see a team come out and play with desperation, not just at the end of the game. There's been urgency to their step and a lot of pace to their play. Deneau's won the draw at center. The Kings will play it in their own end. Dishes it to Fiala. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Gets the puck in deep. Nurse is taking it from his own end. And now he moves it quickly to Yanmark. Puck picked up by Kane. Puck like stop by Talbot. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Grabbed along the board by Doughty. Looking to make something happen at center. And that's poked away by Nurse. Shot! Oh, denied on the play! Wow! Oh, that's a true competitor's save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. Getting into the later stages of this period, the Oilers have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Scrum ensues along the boards. We got a penalty coming up here. Moves it quickly over to Perry. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Now you can see the coach looks skyward on that third call of the period. They know that they got to get back to even strength and get some kind of offense generating. Edmonton's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. The power play has seen success tonight, and I like what they've been doing, James. Just reading the ice that they've been given. Nothing static, a lot of motion, and really reading where the places to attack is. Shot! And he was ready for that save! Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Inside the final minute of the first here. Stop that one. With the blast! Stop! When we have a look at it, James, it looks like it's redirected, and that's just beautiful timing and get the hands away from the body, be able to get it to go the opposite direction of the goaltender. The Oilers have outshot, outscored, and all around dominated here in this first. Kopitar's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Let's see the call here. The game is getting out of hand. You're down by a bunch. You take another penalty. You gotta find a way to just reset your composure. The key to the umbrella on the power play, James, and we saw it earlier, is you have three up high across the ice. You actually pull the coverage up a little bit. If you do that, you can open up cross seams with good motion, but you gotta get the defense running. LA's moving it along the wing. Here's a shot. Just slide to the net. 
Well, fun start to this one as period number one comes to an end. We've still got lots more still in store. Kids are coming out on the ice here to play the little mini prospects game. And we'll be back in more. And the opening face-off here in period number two is about set. L.A. shorthanded unit gets off to a good start. They win the draw and take early possession. Good save! Talbot's been off his game tonight, really looking uncomfortable between the pipes, and he needs to settle in and find a way to create some momentum for his team. But on the other side of the puck, I mean, the forwards have to contribute offensively, and they can only do that if there's a sense of urgency to their game. Kopitar's won the draw here in the defensive zone. Gains the zone along the right wall. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Along the half wall with the puck. And that's blocked from someone in front. Moves it to Dreisaitl. Slick feed. And he's going to pounce on it for the whistle and get a stoppage in play and much needed at that. I can't overstate how timely important that this cover is, James. When you're on your heels and you're chasing the game, you need a reset button. Goaltender allows it to happen. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Quick feed to Muvarare. And the puck clears the zone. Here's a short pass to Hyman. And he slides it quickly to Nugent Hopkins. Tries to get it over to Dreisaitl. Quick pass to McDavid. Great save from in tight. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Let's it fly! He scores! And he completes the hat trick! Now he's been zipping and buzzing along the ice this entire night, hasn't he, James? And man, do the fans appreciate him. On a deflected shot, everyone always talks about the stick positioning. How about the timing to get to the slot area as well? And the ability to just tap it down and redirect it. Edmonton's been just crushing it in the offensive zone, but it starts in the defensive end too, Cheryl. Yeah, as a former defender, I'd say it always starts there. I mean, it's got to be 200 feet in a complete game. And when you look down this lineup and you look on the ice, it starts right from the goaltender and works its way all through the offensive zone. The Oilers have dominated them thus far and continue to do so here in this second. Los Angeles has it in their own end. Feeds the puck over to Byfield. Moves it to McDavid. And he takes a shot. Turns it aside with the glove. Denies him again. Well, he has been under siege. I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Too many bodies in the way. And he slides it quickly to Nurse. The Oilers take it across the blue line. Takes enough, but he's still got the puck. And the puck's booted away. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. Enters the offensive zone from the left. There's the whistle, and here's the call. McDavid's been called for holding. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. Well, they're trailing, but here comes their top power play unit. Their execution certainly can ignite and give their team some life to get back in the game. And the puck's not loose. Deneau's looking to make something happen here in the corner. Oh, an unbelievable stop by Skinner. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Well, he's going to get the slashing call here, James, and it's a stick infraction. What that means is you're in a vulnerable spot. Why? Your opponent has gained position on you. LA's got a five on three, and the clock's their BFF here. In a five on three, you have advantages all over the ice in the offensive zone, but you still can move. You can move and isolate players. When you do this, you create movement, more opportunity. That's exactly what you have to do. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Edmonton's got possession while undermanned. Quick feed to Fiala. Hammers it on net. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Turn that chance aside. Scrum along the boards. LA's on the attack. 
There's the whistle. We get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Nugent Hopkins slides into the face-off dot, and they'll continue to try to kill off this penalty. Edmonton's got the win off that draw. And they get that puck down the ice. McDavid's penalty has expired, and he'll join the penalty kill as they remain shorthanded. And that's blocked in traffic. Here's the chance to clear the puck from his own end. And that's off the glass and out. And there's one non-negotiable if you're going to be on a PK, James, and that is you got to get the clear, and this is done perfectly. Now a quick pass to Fiala. Too much traffic in the lane. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Kopitar. Oh, what a great stop as he got a piece of it with the glove. Los Angeles has it in their own zone. The Kings played along the boards. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by McLeod. The Oilers are dominating play tonight. They've got so much speed. It's almost like they're a step ahead of their opponent and they're anticipating. They're shutting down so quickly and retrieving pucks. When you have that ability to intercept and go the other way, you're a deadly team. Edmonton's offense came to play in a big way and they lead big time here in the second. Good heads up play to sneak in there on the tie up and come up with the puck. Moves it over to Turcock. From the right side, they gain the zone. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. And it's freed up over to his teammate with a nice kick pass. Shot! Makes the save, but barely with that one. Quick feed to Lazat. Handles the pass. Gives him nothing in front. Good hit to bump him off the puck. Picked up along the wall by Dreisaitl. And it's kicked away. 51 seconds. Puck scooped up by Roy. Here's a short pass to Lazat. Puck exits the zone. Battling for it along the boards. And there's the horn, two down, one more to go. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath and get ready for a big third period next. Both teams seem fresh after that second intermission. We're ready to drop the puck on period number three. 20 minutes to go here in regulation what has been a very one-sided affair. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? The Oilers have a comfortable lead here in the third period in part due to their good habits and they've been really effective in all three zones all over the ice. Now they just got to bring it home. So managing and protect the puck is everything. Through center along the wing. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Sets it to the middle. Oh, and they can't connect on the pass because it was broken up in front. Great heads up play with the stick by Nurse. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. And it's a quick pass to McDavid. All alone! What a save the play! Oh, Jim, scores! All over the rebound! And tucks it in for the goal. It really isn't easy to pull this geek off, James. When you move it to the forehand, you got to outweight the goaltender. And they're so athletic today that they can move across the crease so fast. But he does a fabulous job with great patience and buries it. The Oilers probably don't want this game to end the way things have gone here. And I know we're in period number three, but Cheryl, what a night. Yeah, it's been terrific right from puck drop. And they've been consistent throughout the game. And consistency is always a word that coaches talk about. And if they can finish this off with this nice lead, that's the word the coach is going to be preaching after the game. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Edmonton's looking to break out. With possession along the wall. Blast from the blue line. And that goes off a player. Shot right <laughs> starter out they brought him in in relief and unfortunately just not getting the job done as that one goes by you know who else is not getting the job done the team in front of him 
The Oilers are sending a clear message that they are not taking their foot off the gas in this third period here, Cheryl. Well, you can certainly tell that they bought into the game plan, and the coach is certainly ecstatic with the performance of the entire bench. I mean, look at the way they're moving and holding the puck, attacking the net at the right times. It has been a seamless effort. Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. Here they come on the rush. Sends it across. He scores! The goal! They used their speed on this counterattack and gave themselves an odd man advantage here, James. And what they did was they capitalized. They had multiple looks. They could pass it. They could shoot it. Goaltender couldn't figure it out. And it winds up in the back of the net. The Oilers continue to attack the net here in period number three, adding yet another goal to their score. Well, it's been all areas of the game that have really been terrific tonight, James. I've also enjoyed the communication that we're seeing on the ice, not just the body language, but also the vocalness. I mean, they're creating all over the ice, and it's been real fun to watch. Slides the puck down low, and now he moves it quickly to CeCe. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Riddick. The Oilers have a significant lead here in the third period. They have brought their A game tonight. Los Angeles has the puck in their own end. And now he angles it across to Moore. Takes it to the front. Oh, just a great heads up play by Ekholm. Moves the puck. Solid check to slow him down. They've got numbers here. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. The Oilers have done a great job protecting the middle of the ice and influencing play to the outside and allowing their tender to see every shot. Now they're protecting a shutout. They're going to have to do a little more of the same if they want to get it. Edmonton's got the edge in the shot department, a big reason why they lead here in this third period. McDavid's won the draw there on the attack. And that's turned aside. Quick pass to Deyarnay. Oh, and another beauty stop right there. Huge steal in his own end. Moves it to Anderson Dolan. And that's deflected off someone in front. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. The Oilers looking against the half wall. With the stop. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Let's get our third member of the broadcast team back in here, our own Carlin Bade. What you got going on? McDavid's helped his team out by getting in on the scoring. He's had the stronger performance, in my opinion, guys. He got all of that hit. Here we go, two on one. And they elect to dump it in. Fires it into the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Dreisaitl. And he takes the feed. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Dubois. Tries to feed it over to Roy. Picked off by Nurse. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. The Kings get a hold of it. Shot! Oh, and an even bigger save on the slapper! Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. Final seconds of this one, and the home fans certainly appreciate that they got their money's worth tonight. Takes a shot. Big stop just as time expires in the period. Final one has sounded, and that's all she wrote tonight. Smiles and high fives all around as their Tandy picks up the shutout, and everybody's happy tonight. Uh, you're always happy when the light doesn't go on in your end, James. And no sunburn for him because he kept it out. I mean, he was a monster out there. He challenged at the top of his crease. He knew that he was playing confident the way he was playing so aggressive. Thanks so much for joining us here. It was a fun one to call, and we will see you soon for all of us here at EA Sports. Stay safe.